Hi everybody, it's Marcy and today is Thursday and I think this is our last salmon dish. You know, the salmon only lasts so long when it's really, really fresh like Bob's. Um, so there was one other thing I sort of wanted to do, but I'm not going to. So uh, if you wanna make your own sushi, first of all, you have to make sure that you get sushi grade salmon, which Bob's is. Um, so if you wanna make your own sushi, here is my quick tip. Go to your favorite sushi restaurant, get some of the rice. I mean, I've made the rice before and it's not that hard, it's just sort of a pain and they have it so perfectly. <laughs> get a little bit of rice vinegar, sprinkle some of that over the rice. And I used to like make the pieces and it was um, a big pain. And so then I thought, why am I making everybody's pieces? It's like, I feel like it's feeding your children and stuff. And, I mean, at a restaurant, it's okay, I'm paying for that. <laughs> but, um, so what I did was I would get, I put the rice in a bowl, sprinkle a little of the um, rice vinegar over it, and then I'd put a bunch of, like sashimi, put the um, cut uh, cut fish in the middle of the, in the middle of the table, and then people take what they want, use a spoon, they don't even have to make it. Use a spoon, scoop the rice, put that on, um, lay the piece of fish on top, Use um, soy sauce if you want, or don't. So that's it, that's my last tip. For, well, probably not, but temporarily for salmon. Okay, I've already cooked the noodles for this salmon fettuccine. Now I will tell you, I don't know why I'm opening that. This is what I meant to open. Oh wait, you're way far away. I tried to get it out of the sun, and in doing that, you're not even close to the stove, are you? Okay, wait, I gotta rethink this. Um, so, yeah, that was such a great idea, but then I forgot you can't see. Oh, I can turn you up a little so you can see. There you go. Okay, so, um, what we're going to do with this is I'm actually going to make a pretty decent amount of it because this freezes well. And then I've got it for several meals after this. So I'm going to put a little bit of, um, olive oil in here. I've already cooked the fettuccine noodles because you guys don't want to hang around for that to cook. And I've got these salmon fillets ready to go. Uh, let's wipe up a little where that dripped. Um, I don't want to have salmon water anywhere. Okay, now while this is cooking, um, I guess I need a spatula out for that. While that's cooking, I'm going to start on the sauce. You know, fettuccine Alfredo is really um, not good for you. The way I've done it, it makes it a lot better for you. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to take cream cheese, and I use the light. I actually think you could possibly, here, uh, the light. I think you could even maybe use the fat-free. I'd be a little careful. Um, but this is the recipe that whenever I go to visit my uh, Minneapolis family, they always want me to make, or when they come here, you know, and I know everybody likes it, but it's also just such an easy thing. It makes so much. And then we've got a lot for all of the people. Okay. I'm going to put this in my... I thought I just heard my doorbell, but my dog's not going nuts, so I guess not. Okay, put this in my magic bullet. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to pour some milk in. I will tell you the measurements. So I'm making um, a pound of fettuccine. Uh, so I end up using about two cups of milk. That's not all in here yet. We're gonna use that later and a block of cream cheese, um, and a little bit of flour. So, a little bit, I should tell you. A tablespoon of flour, actually one or two tablespoons. So I'm gonna put all of that in here. Ah. Um, what else am I going to put in this? I'm going to go ahead and put the garlic. I'll put a little of the garlic in. Then we can add more if you want. 
I'm going to put all of that in the magic bullet. And mix it until it's blended. While that's mixing, I'm going to go ahead and flip this. Because this salmon does not need to cook terribly long. Just a little bit and then um, it'll continue to cook a little more. You really only want to cook it till it starts flaking apart. Let's make sure this all stirred up well. But this, seriously, and I've even made this uh, fettuccine alfredo without the salmon and substituted chicken. It is the healthiest recipe you will find and one of the easiest ones. Um, now, if you want to add butter to it, you know, go ahead. That obviously will take away a little bit. Um, but right now, what's in it? Two tablespoons flour, the light cream cheese, skim milk, and salmon. Now we are going to add some other things. Actually, the only other thing we have to add is um, Parmesan. Okay, a little bit longer on this. I'm going to meanwhile grab the noodles. and try and do them al dente. I think I did pretty well there. Perfect. Okay. Let's see now. This is starting to flake a... Let me see if you're able to see in there. It's splattering. And um, now that it's cooking and we're getting some of the oil from the salmon, I actually am going to do... Take a little bit of the oil out. It's just splattering. Okay, and you can see it's like starting to get to the point where it's flaking apart. That is absolutely perfect. So I'm going to take the sauce uh, that we made in the blender. You can do it in a blender. You can even do it by hand. Sometimes I've had to do that. Um, and then we're going to pour it in here. Now this does not have all the milk we need. So right now, before it starts to thicken up, I'm going to add the rest of the milk. Now if you do this in a blender, go ahead and add all the milk to that. It's just sort of hard in this. Okay. Um. Okay, and we're going to let this go for a little while. It's over medium heat. You don't want the um, milk stuff to stick too much, but you do want the salmon to go ahead and finish cooking. Um, now I'm going to go ahead, oh, let's get all of that in, and add the Parmesan. The flour makes it much thicker. So it doesn't need the cream. It doesn't need um, it doesn't need the butter. Now I'm not saying this wouldn't be fabulous with um, cream and butter. It would. So if you are splurging for something, go ahead and do it. But this way, it's like I'm not going to kill everybody at the table. Well, not that that would. I shouldn't say that. Okay, we've got the parmesan in there. And I'm going to start cutting the salmon apart a little. It really, if it, if it cooks a little bit longer, it'll completely flake off by itself, but it's starting to flake. And I want to finish this up since I never show you a finished dish. Um, and especially since I'm freezing this when I reheat it, it'll be great to, um, it'll be good. It won't like over dry the salmon. Okay, so we've got all that now. We're going to add the noodles. Ooh, hot. Yeah, those just came off. Okay, now that the noodles are in, let's stir this up really well. 
Now, if it gets too thick, add more milk. If you need to um, uh, make it a little thicker, just let it cook a little longer. Or add more Parmesan, that does it too. And then this is also the time that you can season it if you want to um, add salt, pepper, more garlic, more Parmesan, any of that. So try it out, see how it is for you. Oh, and this is, it ends up being like just the perfect amount for the pound of noodles. And there you go. So when everybody's in town and we make this uh, and everybody's over, I do usually do this with like two or three pounds of noodles and it just goes forever. Um, and everyone loves it. Okay, there you go. Easiest uh, fettuccine Alfredo you'll have with salmon. Um, uh, and then just keep it like this, keep it warm. I usually will turn it to low. Um, sometimes when you like do it too far in advance, you will have to add a little more milk to, um, so that it's not as thick, but that's it. Too thick, add milk, um, not thick enough, cook longer or add some Parmesan. Uh, that's it. I hope you love our salmon fettuccine Alfredo as much as we do. Bye.